What's going on people, it's your boy Fezza here and welcome back to my channel. Today we're back with another Modern Warfare 3 Zombies video for you guys and in today's video we're going to be going ahead and testing out a weapon attachment that apparently is broken in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies since the start of Season 4. Now the attachment that I'm referring to is the Incidinary Rounds and apparently once you throw them on any weapon it turns that weapon into an absolute beast. So as you guys can see right here the Incidinary Rounds is an ammunition mod for the weapon and you guys can go ahead and throw these rounds on a lot of the ARs and LMGs in this game. Now I'm going to be going ahead and testing these rounds out on two separate guns just to see how it performs on different weapons. So as you guys can see right here I'm going to be bringing in the Holgoth 556 and I'm also going to be bringing in the MTZ 556 as well. So as you guys can see we are going to be bringing in some goodies just to make our life really easy. So without further ado let's just dive straight in game and test out the Insignia rounds in Modern Warfare 3 Zombies for Season 4. Okay so we're finally in game we're just going to head straight into tier 3 and test out the insidious rounds on the uh, bosses before we go ahead and pick up the bounty contract we're gonna throw on some of our stuff so we're gonna try it out on the whole goth first let's just pop our perks and our aether blade uh, we're not gonna pop our dog yet and we're not gonna pop the tool and the pack of punch crystal uh for the second gun just yet we will do that after okay so we have our disciple here that we need to deal with let's go ahead and see how fast we can get him gone with these rounds and oh my god yeah you lot was not playing around that was insane you should not be able to take out a tier 3 disciple that fast that should be illegal what the hell yeah this is this is insane this is just dealing with everything without a problem look at that wow okay that was quite surprising i know a lot of you did say it was broken but i didn't know to what extent and uh i guess we have our answer because that's crazy okay we'll grab this bounty real quick we have a mega abomination which we're gonna go and test out on and we're just gonna see if there's a mega abomination here because as you lot know there normally is a spawn and we do have a mega abomination here so let's just go ahead with the whole gut and see how fast we could take him out oh my god his health is going down so fast what the hell he's dead oh my god oh my god okay yeah this thing's broken this thing's definitely broken oh my if you guys need to take out any bosses or there's any challenges you need to do listen now is the time to be doing it go ahead get yourself an ar i mean i don't even think it's specific to the holger this thing is absolutely insane that took out that mega abomination with one clip and it wasn't even the full clip i mean i probably shot like a quarter of the clip and that mega abomination was dead this thing's definitely insane Okay, so I'm going to try this Mega Abomination with the MTZ to see if it goes down any faster. Obviously, guys, the other Mega Abomination which we just took out wasn't a Bounty Contract one, so his health isn't as high as these ones. But even with this, look at that. Oh my god, his health is flying. His health is flying, and we haven't even really shot his eye. Yeah, he's dying real fast. Hold on, but we are dying fast, so uh, let's make sure we don't die in the process. But yeah, this is this is real easy. I mean, I feel like the uh, I mean, I definitely feel like the Holger is a little bit stronger than the MTZ. As I said already, the MTZ has never really been a powerful gun anyway. And for it to be able to just take out all of these zombies and a Mega Abomination without me struggling or even feeling to sweat. You guys know this thing is absolutely insane. It's definitely broken. And as I said, it's not specific to the Holgar. It's just the Insidinary rounds themselves. So you guys can go ahead and throw the Insidinary rounds on any weapon that you want and that allows it and pretty much be a beast. And the reason why that's good is because one, it gives you variety. You don't have to constantly play with the same weapon over and over again. And two, you guys can do a lot of your camo challenges at the same time. And with the start of season two, we have the new Molten Obsidian camo. And obviously to unlock that camo, you guys need to get a certain amount of XP on different weapons. You guys need to go ahead and unlock it for every single weapon. So this is going to allow you guys to go ahead and pretty much be a beast with any weapon that you guys need to unlock that camo specifically with. So I think it's really good in my opinion. Let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below though. Will you guys be using these Insidious rounds or not? I mean, I expect this guy to die pretty much instantly. Let's just have a look though. And he died before anyone else was even able to touch me. Crazy. Absolutely crazy. 
So the storm cooler is at the bottom left of the map. So I think we're just going to try and find a vehicle and go down there. We do have a mega abomination here. So let's just take him out real quick. What we're going to do is we're literally just going to shoot him. And as you guys can see, one clip and he's going to be dead. Everything that walks in front of me whilst I'm shooting this gun right now is just going to die. They're not going to be able to do anything to me at all. Literally, I'm just going to run into this corner over here. Let's pile them all up in front of me. And one shot, one spray, and they're all just going to be dead. Look, look, look. They can't do anything. This thing makes tier 3 feel like tier 1 for real. Like, Okay, after a very long drive, we're finally at the Stormcaller. So let's go ahead and see how fast we can take him out. We're going to do it with the Holger because I have realized that it's a lot stronger than the MTZ. Oh my god, look at that. That is crazy. That is crazy. That is absolutely insane. And even the zombies. Uh, the zombies that's normally in the storm, they are level 2 zombies. And sometimes they are really powerful. And they're just dying. Look at that. Everyone just dies with this. Okay, so there's our mega. I want to see exactly how much bullets it takes. Um, so we have 300 in the clip. Let's try and only shoot him. And let's see exactly how much bullet it takes. So we did shoot a few bullets over there but 150 bullets so we did shoot a few bullets and we did miss a few so i would probably say around maybe 130 bullets or 120 bullets and the, he's dead now for the second one we're going to go with the mtz and obviously we've already seen with the mtz we can do it in about just over a clip when we're not sharing these bullets amongst zombies as well but look at that guys two mega abominations taken out within two clips of two different weapons this is absolutely insane i mean there's nothing like this so just take advantage whilst you can honestly i can't stress it enough we have another mega that's just spawned over there uh we have a refined crystal there as well we'll just take out this dude he ain't gonna stand a chance you can run at me all you like my friend but the, the, ma the fact of the matter is you're about to die because i've got an op weapon <laughs> And he's dead. And look, more rewards. Look, look at this. Just rewards galore. Just rewards galore. Honestly, man. Honestly. This is ridiculous. <laughs> it's actually ridiculous. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and exfil out of here. Hopefully you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, do make sure to like, comment, share and subscribe. It does help me out a lot. Be sure to go ahead and use the incendiary rounds ASAP before it gets patched. That's even if it does get patched. I personally don't think it's going to get patched because they do seem like they've given up on zombies. And they don't really seem like they care what people are doing, whether that's glitches or whatever in zombies at the moment. It seems like their main focus now is Warzone and potentially the next Call of Duty. So again, let me know your thoughts and opinions in the comment section below. Take advantage of this whilst you can. And uh, yeah, hopefully you guys have a lovely day or night. I'll catch you in the next one. Anyways, that's it for me. It's been your boy first. I'm out. Peace.